hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to give you my opinion on what I think are the worst five places to buy real estate in Spain. Now a few months ago I did a video on the what I think are the best five places to buy real estate in Spain on the coast and I do stand by those choices but the five places I've chosen today I think are very bad value for money although all of them are decent enough and actually nice enough places to buy property. I just feel it's too expensive, especially compared to um, places like Alicante and Valencia, which I did cover in my five best places to buy property on the Spanish coast. Now, also included in that were places like uh, Murcia and um, Almeria, which I think are very cheap to buy property. Anyway, coming in at number five is Malaga. Now, I really like Malaga, and perhaps I'm being a little bit harsh in putting it in the worst five cities to buy real estate in Spain, but I just feel property prices are quite high, in particular in the historic center, where they are on average more than 5,000 euros per square meter. Now, in the wider center, they're about 3,600 euros per square meter on average, and as a whole, 2,800 euros per square meter on average, which is a lot more expensive than Alicante and significantly more expensive than Valencia, which in my opinion, I think these cities, Alicante and Valencia, are at least as attractive as Malaga. Now, when comparing, for example, Malaga to Alicante, the, pe the beaches are much more cleaner in Alicante than they are in Malaga. Also, Alicante city centre is very close to the beach, whereas in Malaga, we are talking about a half an hour walk. And I think Alicante is much more actually of a walkable city than Malaga, and it does have some absolutely lovely cobbled streets. And Alicante also has a fantastic marina. Now, to be fair to Malaga, Malaga has a good airport with, with lots of flights across Europe and beyond. And that's actually better than Alicante, although Alicante also has a lot of flights. Uh, also, Malaga has a good public transportation system and is the cultural hub of the Costa del Sol with some great art galleries, museums, festivals and many cultural spots. Of course, Malaga has a fantastic climate. The winters are absolutely lovely and warm here. And although house prices are quite expensive, they're not astronomically expensive. So coming in at number four is Tenerife. Now, although Tenerife is a nice enough island with a very mild climate in the winter and hot summers, there are a number of reasons for not buying a property here. Now, the first and foremost reason is that property prices are quite high. In popular areas such as Playa de las Americas, property prices are over 4,000 euros per square meter. In Los Cristianos, they are nearly 3,600 euros per square meter on average, so hardly cheap. And even on the north of the island, which is less developed and the climate is not quite as good as the south, property prices are still not particularly cheap. There are definitely better alternatives, such as Alicante, Murcia, Almeria and Valencia, to name but a few. Tenerife also suffers for me a lack of tourist attractions and culture here is not in abundance. There are very few museums, theatres and opera houses. Now much of the island's housing stock is not very pleasing to the eye with old outdated buildings. Tenerife kind of seems to be stuck in a time warp. And unfortunately, the island suffers from very high unemployment, in particular amongst the youth, not least because there is a lot of red tape here and it's not an easy place to do business. And also the authorities' continuous fights with the Airbnb market do not help. Now, having said all that, there are some advantages of buying here, um, such as two major airports, one in the north, one in the south and the healthcare system is pretty decent here as well and of course as said the climate is not 
too bad either. Actually, it's really good, to be honest. Coming in at number three is Barcelona. Now, there can be absolutely no doubt that Barcelona is a beautiful city. And certainly there's a lot to see and do in the city. But when it comes to buying real estate, Barcelona is not good value for money. Property prices on average are around 4,700 euros per square meter, which is hardly cheap, particularly in view of the fact that average salaries here are well under 2,000 euros a month net. And community fees and property taxes here are quite high. So when I say community fees, we're talking about building maintenance and repairs, which are typically around one and a half thousand to two thousand euros annually. And property taxes on average are around 0.75 percent. Now, Barcelona's fight against the Airbnb market has been well documented. But it's another reason for not buying in this city if you want to rent out your property on a short term basis. And long term, the yields are only about 4% gross. Hardly inspiring, especially if you are from a non EU EEA country where you will have to pay 24% rental income tax with no deductions for expenses. Now, other problems with Barcelona are that generally salaries, as said, are low. Also, Barcelona at some point may try and get independence again. So it's a little bit different here from the rest of Spain. Um, also, the language Catalan can be a problem for people who want to come here just to learn Spanish. But most important of all, Barcelona suffers from a very high crime rate. The city has earned itself the title pickpocket capital of the world. So that's not too good. Coming in at number two is Mallorca. Now, Mallorca is an absolutely beautiful island, but property is very, very expensive. If we take the capital Palma de Mallorca, on average, prices are over 4,000 euros per square meter, which is more than double that of Alicante, where prices on average are less than 2,000 euros per square meter. And prices are a lot higher than Valencia, where prices are around 2,400 euros per square meter. However, it's not just Palma de Mallorca, which is very expensive. Other places, other nice places like Soler are over 5,000 euros per square meter. And, and Drax at nearly 7,000 euros per square meter on average. That is very, very, very expensive. Even Manacor, which with all due respect, is not exactly the most attractive place. Property prices on average are higher than Valencia, which is an infinitely nicer place and a lot higher than Alicante. Now, short term lets are restrictive if you want to rent out your property. There are many, many restrictions, especially in Palma de Mallorca, where you probably won't even be able to rent out your property short term. And even if you're lucky enough to be able to rent out your property on a short term basis, you'll have to pay for a tourist license. And if you buy an expensive property here, you may end up having to pay a wealth tax. So not great. I also think Brexit is also likely to play an important part in the future in property prices here because most foreign buyers are from Britain and it's going to be a lot more difficult to buy. And salaries here are not high. So on the island, we are talking less than 1,500 1, euros a month net on average, hardly inspiring as salaries. So we've definitely got an affordability issue. Now, coming in at number one is Marbella. Now, Marbella, in my opinion, is one of, if not the most overrated places in Spain. I would actually add that Marbella potentially is one of the most overrated places in the world. Marbella is basically, for me, a Benal Madeira, but much more expensive. The beaches are not all that great. The old town really is no great shakes and Puerto Banus and its harbour is not as pretty as many commentators would make out. Property prices are an absolute joke here at around four and a half to five thousand euros per square meter on average. So really, really, really expensive. 
and in Puerto Benus, any decent house will cost you over 1 million euros. Yes, over 1 million euros. Now, another problem with Marbella is that people are not particularly friendly when you compare it to other places in Spain. It also lacks cultural attraction, attractions, and you can sometimes feel here as if you're not in Spain. Yet another problem with Marbella is that during the busy season, the traffic can seem like chaos and in winter it can actually seem a little bit too quiet let's not forget Marbella is not a particularly big place now lastly um, Marbella does not even have its own airport you will have to go to Malaga airport which is over 50 kilometers away and I want to leave you with one last thought just think prices in Marbella are twice around twice as expensive as those in Valencia which is a much more important much more beautiful city and has its own airport and property prices here are more than twice those of Alicante well much more than twice those of Alicante which I also think is a much more beautiful place than Marbella and Alicante has its own airport so for this reason I think Marbella is by far the worst place in Spain to buy property I think it's miles ahead of the rest anyway that's it for today thanks ever so much for watching and I shall see you soon on the next video